The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God where we read all of God's word and pray together. We continue now through the first, uh, first Corinthians as we continue through the New Testament this year. Uh, today we're in the 10th chapter, verses 1 through 22. Remember, we use the English Standard Version for the translation for our text. I use the Lutheran Study Bible, and I also read the devotions and the prayers out of the Lutheran Study Bible as well. So let's hear God's word and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beginning in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the first verse, warning against idolatry. For I want you to know, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them and the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, with most, with most of them, God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things took place as examples for us, that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality, as some of them did. And 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble, as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happen to them as an example. But they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed, lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourself what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Consider the people of Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar? What do I imply then? That food offered to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything? No, I imply that what pagan sacrifice they offer to demons and not to God. I do not want you to be participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Shall we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? So far the word. Flee from idolatry summarizes this whole section. Even Israel, who had seen God's mighty works through the Exodus, acted as if they were not real, as if they could rely on gods of their own creation or even themselves to keep them safe. We all know that in our age, there are many gods. Some are worshipped as such. Examples, Islam, Hinduism. Others subtly become gods. Money, pride. Luther says, a God means that from which we are to expect all good and in which we are to take refuge in all distress. Our society has many such gods, be they wealth, be they status, be they reputation, even family. But the one true God does not tolerate shared allegiance. If we participate in the worship of false gods or in the churches that do not faithfully confess the gospel in all its purity, this would indicate that we assent to what the worshiping community believes. 
For this reason, we avoid such false worship. At the Lord's table, he offers his body and blood for the forgiveness of sins and through them creates a faithful community, one committed, committed to him and to one another. He comes to his people in his word and in the sacrament, the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, which forgives sins and creates a church faithful to him. We pray. From being led astray by the many gods of this world, protect us by your spirit, Lord. Thank you for the gift of your Son who comes to us in his very body and blood and for the gift of the congregation in which I hear your word proclaimed faithfully and where I receive this life-giving sacrament. Strengthen me to build up my fellow participants in worship of you. In your name we pray. Amen. We continue in prayer on this 25th day of the month. We give thanksgiving for Hagarius Lutheranus Elbane Pastor. Good Shepherd Lutheran Home, which provides a safe and nurturing facility for young people with developmental disabilities in the Dominic Republic. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh, merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. as well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen and Mary Ann, Karen and Jane, Art, George, Bonnie, Marilyn, and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.